Hello and welcome to another episode of the Coffee Break Harp. My name is Susanna, I am a harpist and harp teacher and this is my weekly video series for anyone who wants to learn more about playing the harp. In today's episode I'm going to talk about taking breaks and time off away from the harp. As always, there is a free PDF with the lesson notes for those of you who prefer to read and you can download it by following the link in the description of this video down below. Today we'll have a look at breaks during your practice, between the practice sessions, as well as longer vacation away from the harp. I encourage all my students to take short 3 to 5 minute breaks after every 20 minutes of practice. This gives you just enough time to get up from the harp, go to get a glass of water or use the toilet or maybe just stretch a little bit. After three chunks of 20 minutes each, I suggest that you take a longer break, about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, getting up from the harp and perhaps doing a slightly longer stretching session or some light housework like maybe hanging the washing, something that will include a change of scenery, change of body position and possibly a little bit of physical movement. With some more demanding pieces or types of practice, you may want to take breaks more often, even as often as every 10 minutes. And whatever you do, definitely stop playing when you're feeling any signs of tension in any part of your body or when you're feeling a blister coming up. Playing an instrument can be something that you want to do for fun in your spare time. But because it means learning a new skill and a rather challenging one, there will still be moments when you will be facing some difficulties and when practicing will not feel fun at all. That's when planning a day off can really help. I noticed how helpful it can be when I was working towards my master's degree. This was one of more intense periods in my life as I was studying full time, working part time and using every possible moment to practice on any given day. On Saturdays though, the school used to be taken over by the junior department and the senior students, like me, were not allowed to use the practice rooms. You could only get into the harp room for 3 hours from 6 until 9pm, which I initially did, but then I thought, how about I plan for the Saturdays to be completely free of practice? And I have to say that I really appreciated the effects of that decision. My Friday practice sessions became much more efficient because I knew that I won't be practicing the next day, which in turn gave me more motivation to make the most of those Friday evenings. And after a day of break, my mind and body were much more refreshed and often on Sunday I noticed that what I learned over the course of the week had a chance to settle. It's important that you're making a conscious decision about whether you'll practice or not at the beginning of the day. If you wake up thinking, I really should practice today, but keep postponing the practice time because you don't feel very keen, it's more likely that this will make you feel bad about letting it slip away than get the benefit of the rest. So always make sure to plan ahead. Chances are that when you decide that you're not practicing on that one day, you will be rather tempted to play or that a burst of inspiration will come. If that happens, of course allow yourself to play. Very often taking a break allows our creativity to wake up, so when you feel the inspiration and the new ideas coming in, let yourself play with them. To those of you who are worried that over a course of a day you may forget what you learned, I'd like to put your mind at ease and say that this is quite unlikely. But if you notice that it does happen, I would suggest that you take a careful look at the way you practice. Perhaps your practice is solely based on repetition and not mindful learning, which in turn will mean that you're forgetting things more easily. I think it is really important to allow yourself longer periods of break. Not giving yourself a chance to stop can mean no time to check in which direction you're going and whether this is really where you want to go. This matters especially if you are a professional musician because then making that decision to stop can be really hard. But I believe that it is important to make this decision consciously. Even when you're facing a longer periods without work, the fact that you say to yourself, this week is my time off, can make a big difference. Of course, just like with a day off, if you experience a sudden burst of inspiration or when you think about doing something fun and playing the harp is what comes first to your mind, go for it. What I mean is that, in my opinion, all of us need to give ourselves permission to take a break from the serious everyday practice we normally do. When you return to the harp from longer holiday, allow for a gradual return to practice so your fingers can get used to playing and you don't get blisters. 
To sum up, 1. Remember to always take breaks during the practice sessions, at least every 20 minutes. 2. When you're experiencing challenging times in your practice, give yourself the right to take a day off, but always decide at the start of the day, at the latest, whether you will play or not. 3. When coming back from a longer holiday, give yourself some time to get back to your usual practice routine by planning a gradual return. If you haven't guessed that already, the topic of this episode was inspired by the fact that I'm going to take a break myself. That means that there will be no new videos over the next three weeks, but it also means that there is a very high chance for plenty of inspiring topics once I'm back at work. So as always, if there's anything at all you'd like to hear me talk about, let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to hear from you and learn what interests you most. Remember to subscribe to get notified about the first post-holiday video and in the meantime, take good care of yourself. Bye for now!